Happy Monday, Run Junkies. It is Monday, May 13th. Yes, Monday the 13th. If you ever read the Garfield comic strip several years ago, Monday the 13th was Garfield's worst days. I'm headed into Orange Theory here in a few minutes. Uh, here's my workout week as it stands right now. We are two weeks out to Boulder Boulder. This week is two Orange Theory sessions, two easy runs, three to four miles a piece, a long run of six miles, and then one <laughs> hill workout. Yeah, I still have more it's hills. It's gonna be a gorgeous week, so different from last week. Last week it was rainy for four days straight and that just wreaks havoc on my mood. This week it's gonna be all sunshine all the time, the complete opposite. It's gonna get very, very warm. It's gonna get up into the 80s. I'm so excited, but that means that I have to get up and out early. Okay, today at Orange Theory. <laughs> I used to think I didn't like burpees. I've decided I actually don't like froggers. We did so many froggers. I walked out of there today with just these noodle legs. Every single station had some variety of froggers. Uh, the way things are starting to shake out lately is that my husband leaves and he goes to his office twice a week, so Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, I use those days to do my recordings. It's, it's quite an intrusion because my office is like in the middle of everything, right? This is the loft. You know, these are all of our rooms and then we have open floor plan all the way downstairs. So it's challenging for everyone to kind of come in and out while I'm recording. I need to solve that problem so I'm not intruding on my family. So I ordered a new shirt. This is from Tea Turtle, okay? It's Chewbacca. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to Tea Turtle in the description below. I bought one for myself and I bought one for my son because uh, this is actually a benefit for the Peter Mayhew Foundation. And so uh, we ordered a couple of these. Wookie Sighting is the name of the shirt. Tea Turtle does some really cute shirts. Uh, and then you can see the Ewok Village in the background. So I can probably take that off. Wednesday morning, that means it must be speed work day. 16 by 200 meters uphill at 9.20 pace. It ends up being between the warm up and cool down and the main set. It's about six miles. It should only take an hour or so. So here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna walk or run my warm up mile out to this overpass. So I'm gonna use that overpass as my main set. So I'm basically just gonna go up and over and up and over and up and over and up and over. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna cool down, I'm gonna run back and then that should be it. Okay, that got done. It got pretty warm. Uh, the hill was challenging. That overpass was pretty challenging. Um, it was steeper on one side and into the wind. Uh, so coming back up over the hill was, was hard. Uh, but I got it done. I did all 16 reps. Gonna head back in, get some breakfast and buckle in. To get a lot of work done today, let's hope. Good morning, everybody. It's about 5.30 and I'm out for an easy three mile run. It's the earliest I've been out in a long time. You, you can see the sun's not even up yet. Just an easy three miles. I'll be done before you know it. Bit of behind the scenes today. I'm setting up all of my noon hydration B-roll. So um, I'm, taking, I'm taking each one of the flavors and I'm getting video as it effervesces and while I'm doing that um, basically what I'm doing is I'm making all of my noon for the day <laughs> I will drink it all today so yeah I've got um, the cherry limeade in here I'm working on the noon immunity right now uh, and then I will have the grape and the vitamins yeah this is me setting up behind the scenes this is the cleanest you're ever going to see my counter. I mean, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm I'm at the school carnival, and I have to be honest with you. I um, this kind of thing gives me anxiety. This was a last minute decision for us because um, my son said, "Oh no, my best friend's going, so can I go?" And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, we can go." But I am truly. Um, I really want to go home. 
I'm gonna have a hot dog. I'm gonna go home. Okay guys, uh, here we are, it's Friday. I had Orange Theory this morning, and <laughs> remember what I said about the Froggers on Monday? <laughs> we had more of them today. It took me until last night to not be sore anymore, to not hate my stairs because of those Froggers from Monday. So guess what, we had more of them today. All right, here is where we stand for the weekend. I just got off of a meeting with my very dear friend, Jen Sorensen, and I am making the official announcement. We are launching our podcast at the end of May, uh, and I'm really excited about it because we are gonna talk, uh, we're gonna take what we've been doing on the video channel on YouTube and we are going to add to it. There's so much more to say. I'm very excited to be working with her. We've recorded a few podcasts already. But really, if we're gonna launch at the end of May, it is already the 17th. I have a race, Jen has a race, and we're kind of busy. So we just wanna make sure that it all comes together. So as a result, I'm changing things up for June. Uh, I will keep bringing you the triathlon series. Uh, and the intro to triathlon series, but I'm gonna move that to Tuesday. I am kind of running out of ideas, sort of, uh, for the, the, the actual running training tips con content. Let's face it, I have over 400 videos. We are pushing 425 videos, maybe more, on this channel. That is a lot of content. And so when you guys ask me a question, sometimes I can go back and point you to an old video and say, hey, you know what? I recorded this two years ago. It still applies. So I've been challenged in finding good stuff for you. Uh, I, I want to keep bringing you quality content. So instead of trying to force something out on Tuesdays, I'm gonna drop that aspect. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask. It is entirely possible that we will answer those questions in the podcast. So. Yay, I will have details on that when they come available. I don't have those just yet. I'm still working on it. We'll have the Tuesday video about triathlon and then we'll also have the weekend update that I'm recording right now. I will check in with you later. I am at Roadrunner Sports and I got my Boulder Boulder packet. Let's see what's in this thing, shall we? Okay. FA208, that's my best corral placement ever. Oscar Blues beer and a snack bag. How many pins do you have? That's nice. That's nice. I got a little bigger size this year because they shrink. That's all that's in the brace packet. Bib, pins, and a shirt. I think I'm ready. Okay, things are about to get nuts here again. Is it again or still? Okay, here's what's happening. Saturday afternoon, uh, May 18th, my son just had his piano recital, crushed it, he did a great job, I'm very proud of him. Uh, so here's what's happening. I am moving my desk basically into the guest room here. Um, it's smaller, but it is quiet-ish. Uh, I, you know, I can close the door. I'm losing a guest room. We're losing a guest bed, uh, huh. which, and then we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all this furniture. We went through a whole whiteboard session today, like my husband and I, we figured, we're trying to figure out the pros and cons of losing that guest room in favor of moving my office in there. Also, in the neighborhood this weekend is the neighborhood garage sale. It's great because you can just walk up and down the street and see people having garage sales. We were literally driving to my son's recital when I saw this thing out in someone's garage sale, okay? If you don't know what this is, it, it is 
<laughs> does look like a torture device, true. Um, but what this is, it's inversion, okay? So you hook your feet in there and the whole thing flips upside down. Um, it is quite nice, actually. It's, it's really nice to be upside down and have that blood flow go the other way. And especially when you do so much running, taking some pressure off the joints and the bones, especially as a runner, it feels so good. I've already tried it out. I'm pulling everything out of the guest room. I'm cleaning my office again, or that could be still. I'll let you know how it goes. My husband took Miko the Wonder Mutt to uh, the dog park this morning, so uh, the dog can get his crazies out, chasing rabbits and birds and other dogs and all of that stuff. We're gonna head down to Ikea. I love Ikea. Dave says to me, he's like, well, we can just run down and grab the desk. You know, it won't take all day. I'm like, you don't understand. This is Ikea. You don't just run down, pick something. It's not like going to the grocery store. <laughs> I want a standing desk. I want an adjustable standing desk. Uh, Ikea has a really nice one. But yeah, I'll put metals up and I've, I'm going to have a big old whiteboard right here on this wall so I can keep track of my thoughts and and planning and all of that stuff. So, um, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. But we get to go to Ikea today. Yeah! I love Ikea. Come on in. This is my office. Check it out. Okay, so that's the old desk. Uh, it has adjustable legs, so I was able to bring it way down. I brought my stability ball up. And this is my new adjustable desk. If that's not cool, okay. So I'm gonna stand here and do a lot of editing. Um, I'm gonna be far more comfortable, I think, standing up than I am sitting down. And then I have my inversion chair, okay. Uh, over here is going to be a nice big whiteboard once we get rid of the headboard. Um, we're going to put in a big whiteboard so I can plan some things. And then I also have my TRX behind the door. So it's my nice little office. I can close the door, but welcome. Welcome to the new office. Okay guys, I am gonna close it out this week. I had a really great week of training. I am, as of this recording, one week out from Boulder Boulder. You, By the time you guys see this, Boulder Boulder will be tomorrow. Okay, uh, I'm pretty excited about the new office. It was kind of a leap of faith, but I'm glad that we've done this and I think it's gonna work out really, really well. I'm kind of bummed that we lose a bedroom, but uh, I think it's gonna, work very well for me and for my family. I'm, I'm excited for it. So my question for you today is, what do you think of the new office? So please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned to this channel and to my social media networks. You will see the official announcement for the podcast. Look for that to come up on May 30th, I think is what we're projecting at the moment. Uh, as of right now, it's the 19th. So I hope I have my act together and Jen and I can get those together and put up by May 30th. I'm really excited. That's gonna be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running. Mm -hmm.